This is the Movo Di Duo. That's probably not the right way to pronounce that, but the Movo Di Duo. It's an $80 wireless lavalier bundle with two transmitters or microphones, and the receiver is using an MFI certified Apple Lightning connector. Each microphone has selectable noise canceling as well as onboard muting. You got 10 hours of battery life, a whopping 164 range of feet. I don't know why you need to be that far from your receiver, but you could be. And God forbid if something goes wrong, you got a one year warranty. Is this microphone any good? That's what we're here to find out today because generally lavalier microphones have subpar quality in comparison into a stationary microphone locked off on a boom arm, especially with wireless lavalier microphones, which introduce additional problems, such as keeping the transmitter and receiver charged, and occasionally some wireless input delay, which introduces some lip syncing issues. Let's see if the Movo Di Duo, I can say that all day, falls into the same pitfalls. Surprise, it doesn't. A quick disclaimer for my audience, the Stallions and Stallionettes, this microphone was sent for review, but this is going to be an honest, comprehensive review. I haven't been paid or told to say anything about it, so if there's any cons or areas of improvement, you're going to hear about it. This is mildly confusing. Down here in the description for the product listing, it says one year warranty, but then it has a placard over here that says two year warranty. You fill out this form and you're basically registering your product. You're going to put your order number and the model of the product you purchased, and you're going to activate a second year of warranty. As for packaging and included accessories, as it is a Movo product, their theme color is the this kind of teal or turquoise, which is actually my favorite color. And what we were just discussing with the warranty situation, bam, right there on the top. Wait, hold on, you've got a second year to activate. You're not gonna need it though. This thing's gonna be reliable for you, right, Movo? If you'd like to pause the box to reader, you can do so now. There is a translucent wafer sticker on the top that will need to be cut. A little card with some exclusive offers from their partners. I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that. You've got a sticker. If you're the happy guy, let them know on social media how much you like their product. If you're the sad guy, there's customer support. Little instruction manual pamphlet or brochure. Quite simplistic, but it does give you your tech specs and show you how to pair to your iPhone. You have a very nice high quality soft carrying bag that has a mesh net in the back. Opening it up, you do have two very short USB-C cables and then you have your microphones or transmitters and your receiver, as well as two foam pop filters all hiding underneath this plastic dust cover. Now I've got to say these lavalier mics are very compact and there's also a good amount of tension in that clip as well. So you don't have to worry about that bouncing off your shirt. There is a plastic dust cover on the lightning connector and this actually feels pretty high quality. It doesn't feel cheap or flimsy in the hand. But most importantly, how's the audio quality? It's a microphone, for God's sake. You want to see how freakishly easy it is to get up and running with this bad boy? Transmitter. Receiver, I mean. Phone. Tookus. Rump. Insert. Blue light. Flashing awaiting transmitter. Why am I talking like that? The blue status light is flashing, indicating that it is ready to be paired. Hold down the power button on either transmitter for two seconds. It will go into pairing mode and in 10 seconds or under, you will be paired up with your transmitter. You do need to unlock your iPhone for it to successfully pair. That's with any microphone that I've ever tested for Apple iOS devices. No buttons on the receiver and only one button on the transmitter. Holding down the power button will turn it on and off. A short press will mute or unmute the mic and a double press will turn on or off the noise cancellation mode. This is with the Movo lapel or lavalier mic about three inches away from my suck hole clipped onto my collar. Out of the box default settings. Using that lackluster front facing camera of the iPhone 13 Pro. But what's not lackluster hopefully is going to be the audio quality with this Movo lavalier lapel microphone snipped to my neck hole. It's storming outside bad right now. Well, a little thunder McGrumble. How's the handling noise as I'm rubbing the body of this microphone? Let's test that mute functionality. Am I unmuted now? It's pretty insane how quickly this microphone pairs up. I had it disconnected from my phone, then turned it back on, and it paired up within probably two seconds. The initial pairing takes around five to eight seconds, but after that, once you've been paired up and she recognizes the device as a friendly or a familiar, she's been over to the house a couple of times, she'll stop by for a cocktail a few more times. That is a weird analogy. It pairs up really damn quick. Let's double tap this power button and test this noise cancellation. This is with the noise cancellation mode on and about three inches away from my lip pillows. Peter Piper pickled a pepper. I'm on Pickle Patrol Patricia. In Call of Duty, my gun goes pitter patter, pitter patter, pit pop pow. This is with the noise cancellation mode off. Peter Pan plundered his pastrami and some sweet pudding. I'm on Pickle Patrol Patricia. As for areas of improvement, I can only see one for the next version or iteration because this is a dang near perfect wireless lavalier system. I would absolutely like to see on their next version or iteration some type of gain control in case a content creator is shooting on the go where they don't have the equipment to 
to edit and post, and they just want to grab those clips off their iPhone and upload them to, say, for example, social media without the audio being too quiet, which it is a little bit. Or if not a physical control, just a software application where you can control things like the gain or volume of your voice and maybe an equalizer curve. But it is cool that they have that noise cancellation mode. As for the pros, the simplicity of these, just plug and play, it uses a lightning connector, snips in the bottom of your iPhone, you've got two transmitters, so you can conduct an interview, or for me, I'll primarily be using these solo, but if one's dead, I have another one charged up on backup. And they're very inconspicuous. They're small, streamlined, matte black, besides that little glossy piano strip there, which isn't too vulgar. It blends in very well with your clothing. It's also very lightweight. It doesn't pull down your shirt or anything. I've seen a lot of big, bulky boxes with some of these transmitters. Overall, I'm savagely satisfied with this Movo lapel system, to the point to where when I shoot my footage where I generally be using my Shure MV5, basically any footage where I'm not sitting at my desk using my webcam. All my other footage is with a Shure MV5 compact microphone plugged directly into my iPhone 13 Pro. So this is going to be getting a heck of a lot of use. The Movo Di Duo is linked in the description below, and I'll see you stallions tomorrow. Peace. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more gamers. This information will reach in a system as well, which in turn helps me grow this little channel, which I do greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover news in the gaming community and industry, tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing, as well as honest gaming product reviews, keyboards, mice, headsets, controllers, mics, chairs, etc. There are some hefty exclusive discount codes found only in the description of my videos and only for the audience here at Gamer Heaven. Check out Into the AM for some of the sickest looking and most comfortable cloth to ever grace my my gaming giblets. If you don't want to be scorching your corneas with harmful blue light, check out Gamer Advantage, the only blue light glasses on the market that look sexy and actually work. If you're looking for a custom controller that'll blow the competition's tits back, AIM definitively has the best bang for buck or price to performance when it comes to Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch controllers. Nope, they don't do Switch, but they do do gaming mice. I said doo-doo. I have links to all my other platforms and socials in the description below. If you need a quick laugh or blast of gamer adrenaline, check my short form videos out at TikTok. To get in touch with myself and the stallions and stallionettes of Gamer Heaven, join the community Discord, and check me out at twitch.tv where I go live every other leap year on a blue moon if it falls into an odd calendar number, and my pH balance is on point. Just kidding, starting June I'm going to be live streaming a lot. Thanks for watching, this has been AK40 Kevin hosting Gamer Heaven, and I'll see you tomorrow because I upload daily, all the time, 60% of the time, sometimes, most of the time. Peace.